All right. Time to get going. Green! Morning, Elliot. <laughs> Good morning. Are you heading to school now, too? How about we walk there together? Sure. It's getting late, though, so we might need to pick up the pace a little. No problem. I'm guessing everyone else left already, huh? I think so. I'm not sensing anyone else on this floor, at least. Gaius in particular is probably long gone by now, being the early riser he is. Uh, oh, okay then. He's not sensing anyone? What does that mean exactly? Morning. Y yeah. Good morning. Morning. Are you two on your way to school? Uh, yeah. Come on, Emma. We're going to be late. Hey, wait for me, Elisa. We'll see you in class. I never would have guessed she'd hold a grudge this long. She knows it was just an accident, right? She has to. Can't believe she'd be so sensitive. No kidding. She's not even giving me a chance to apologize to her. Well, as long as you keep trying, I'm sure she'll understand. Eventually. Class 7's got enough tension as it is, what with our two, uh, prideful warriors at each other's throats. So I think it would be a load off everyone's mind if you and Elisa could make up at least. I'll certainly do what I can, whatever that may be. These past two weeks have really flown by, haven't they? It's funny, I went into this thinking combat practice would be the toughest part of the curriculum. Never would have guessed the academic side of things might give it a run for its money. Well, strong in body and mind is pretty firmly embedded into Imperial culture. I do get what you mean, though. I figured I'd be able to coast through the year, but I've had to very quickly reevaluate that. Uh, you too, huh? I wish I were as smart as Machias or Emma. They don't seem to be having any problems at all. But then, Emma got the top score on the entrance exam, and I'll bet you anything Machias wasn't far behind. I'm sure. Yusus and Elisa are apparently doing really well too. As are Laura and Gaius. Really? Guess I'm just gonna have to suck it up then. Though I really do hope they don't mind. Huh? I'm not sure I follow. Oh, sorry. You got me thinking about Eustace and Laura. I've been talking to them the same way I talk to everybody else, but they're both nobles, right? And Eustace's family rules over the whole eastern side of the Empire, so it kind of feels like I should address them more... formally. Well, they both said it was okay, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Though, you probably shouldn't go picking fights with Yusus every chance you get, like a certain someone else. Oh, I don't plan on it. I'd hope they get along a bit better over time, but if anything, things seem to be spiraling downhill fast on that end. When the two of them are in the same room, there's just this constant tension in the air. 
It's not all Machias either. Yusus seems to enjoy provoking him at every opportunity. I can't even imagine what it would take to make them see eye to eye at this point. Yeah, I wish there was something we could do to help them get along. And that's where we'd be if we weren't in Class 7. Dormitory number two, for all the common folk like us. Yeah, I guess so, huh? I'm still kind of shocked that Class 7 gets to have its own dormitory. Though, to be fair, I think that building was abandoned till this year. Seems like they renovated it just for us. Well, they did a good job. It's got a nice feel to it. I just wish it were a little closer to the Academy. Hey, you're in our way. Step aside at once. Oh. <laughs> Class 7, I see. Is something the matter? You're just a ragtag bunch of nobodies, aren't you? Come on, we're leaving. Yes, Patrick! A word of advice, you might be part of a special class, but that doesn't change who you are. Never forget your place. So they're from one of the upper classes. This is why I hate talking to them. Unfortunately, that attitude is all too common among the nobles. Thank goodness Laura and Eusis aren't like that. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad. That's the infamous dormitory number one, where all the nobility lives. It's supposed to be super fancy inside, with maids and butlers and everything. Wow, really? Guess that's our cue to pick up the pace. Yeah, sorry. Oh, hey, have you picked out a club to join yet? Doesn't sound like you have to or anything, but it's probably a good way to meet people. No, I'm still looking. It's hard to decide on one. Stand, bow. Be seated. As I'm sure you're all well aware, the Erebonian Empire was driven to the brink of collapse roughly 250 years ago. This was brought about by the conflict we know as the War of the Lions. A civil war lasting several years, staged over the throne of the late emperor by the most powerful of his potential successors. But of course, I'm not here to tell you that. If I were, I think even young children would be able to pass this course. <laughs> Rather, I'd like to discuss the effects this had on the Empire as members of the aristocracy were drawn into the war. Many hired mercenaries turned to looting and pillaging, and a similar trend could even be seen among some of the knights. The land was left utterly devastated, and morale was at an all-time low. But then, lo and behold, into this nightmare stepped a man. A man willing to take a stand against this bloody war of succession. He was a wandering prince who began to rally forces from the outskirts of the Empire, and would go on to make quite a name for himself. And that name, of course, was Dreykel's Rysay Arnor. 
He would later become known as Dreykels the Lionheart, the 73rd Emperor of Erebonia and father of the Renaissance. Not to mention the founder of this very academy. Dreykels' army was initially rather small in number. But as he traveled across the empire, winning over the hearts of influential sympathizers, his forces rapidly increased. Now, the place where Emperor Dreykels first began gathering his army was... Rienschwarzer. Would you care to tell the class? Nice work, everyone! You made it through another grueling day of classes! In case you've been living under a rock, please don't forget that tomorrow is your first free day! It's not technically a day off, but there are no classes, so it's up to you what to do with your time! Why, you could go shopping in the capital if you wanted to! Or just do what I do and sleep all day! Sleep is so wonderful! Um... Will the Academy's facilities still be open for our use? Yes, I'd like to be able to use the free study area in the library myself. Of course! This school shuts down for no one, so feel free to patronize any and all facilities as you like. A lot of clubs have meets scheduled for these free days as well, so anyone who's joined one should probably check on that. I see. I'll be certain to do so. Also, before you leave, we should go over what's happening next week. On Wednesday, you all have your practical exam. A practical exam? What does that entail exactly? It's part of your combat training. You'll be graded on your performance, so make sure you're well rested and ready for battle by then. Might be a good idea to do some training on your own time too, just to keep from getting rusty. Hmm. Interesting. I definitely don't like the sound of that. <sighs> Oh, and one more thing. After the practical exam is over, I've got another important announcement about a major part of Class 7's curriculum that I haven't mentioned at all yet. What? Here it comes. So, whatever you choose to do on your free day, make it count for something. That concludes today's homeroom. Machias, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. All rise, bow.
This should be the Student Union Building. I know the cafeteria is on the first floor, but I wonder where the Student Council Room is. Hey there, first year. Um... How's it going? Academy life been treating you well this past half month? <laughs> oh, yeah, it has. Guess he must be a second year. It's not easy, but I'm managing. Mostly. Though I have a feeling it's only going to get harder from here on out. <laughs> of course it will. Your class is going to be more intense than the others, too. But you just hang in there, okay? Uh, okay. Um, uh, wait. You're a second year student, aren't you? Do you mind if I ask your name? Hey now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First things first, how about you let me show you this cool trick I've been practicing? Trick? Hmm. You got a 50 mirror coin I can borrow? Mm, I, I think so. Pretty sure I do anyway. Cheers. All right, watch closely. Huh? Now, which hand is the coin in, left or right? It's in your... Too bad. Guess you win. I'm usually pretty good at following moving objects too. Though, wait, you said this was a trick, which means... You catch on quick. Huh? <laughs> Keep up the good work, man. You're gonna need to be pretty tough to get through a year with Sarah as your instructor. Oh, and uh, the student council room is on the second floor, furthest room back. See you around. Have a good weekend. Wait, my 50... <sighs> he got me. Andy seemed to know I was heading to the student council room, too. Somehow. Guy's good. I haven't met many of the second years yet. I wonder if they're all like... that. Oh well. At least now I know where I'm going. Though, if it really is open late, I guess there's no real rush. I might as well see what else people are up to in here.
open. I recognize that voice. Pardon the interruption. Oh, you're that girl. <laughs> it's been about two weeks, hasn't it? Welcome to the student council room, Reen Schwarzer. Instructor Sarah sent you, right? Yes. So, you're a member of the student council then? I wonder if she got moved up a few years. She looks even younger than Fee. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just wondering, um... Are you a second year student? <laughs> I am, but there's no need for formalities with me. There's no junior or senior in my book. The name's Toa Herschel. I'm the student council president. P president? Uh huh. Does that surprise you? I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunities to interact with you and the other first years during your time here. So if there's anything you need help with, you just come and let me know, okay? I'll do everything in my power to make it better. Thank you. That's very kind. She's seriously the student council president? That's hard to believe. <clears throat> um, so, the reason I've come here is because you're holding on to something for Class 7, right? Oh, of course. Here you go. Yours is the one on top. Let's see. Oh, our student notebooks! I completely forgot about these. I'm really sorry it's taken so long. Class 7's curriculum is pretty different from any of the other classes. And you're even using a different kind of battle orb mint, so yours had to be compiled separately. Meaning these notebooks have information in them about... The Arcus, yes. All the student notebooks double as instruction manuals for their accompanying battle orb mints. And the other first years are all using the same type as last year, so we could just reuse last year's template. But the Arcus type you're using works quite differently, so we had to write a whole new set of directions from scratch. Okay, that makes sense. But wait, who's we? Pretty much just me. Instructor Sarah asked me to do it on her behalf. Which means it's my fault this has taken so long. I'm really sorry. Oh, no, no. If anything, it, it sounds like we owe you a huge debt of gratitude for putting so much time and effort into it. Is that really part of the student council's job, though? It seems more like something our instructor should be handling herself. Technically, you're right. But she's always so busy. About the other instructors a lot too, so I don't mind lending her a hand from time to time. Hmm. What a nice person. Maybe a little too nice for her own good. I doubt she ever gets a moment's rest around here. So you just need me to give these to the other students in class seven, right? Yes, please. I really appreciate what you've all agreed to do too. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> I heard all about it from Instructor Sarah. She said you've agreed to help out the student council with our work, right? It's such a nice gesture! You're really getting Class 7 off to a great start here at the Academy. Um... I'm sorry, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Didn't you tell her that you wanted to help ease our workload? Something about wanting to better yourselves? To prove you were worthy of being a part of this prestigious new class? She said you were all really eager to help out, so I should try to delegate some of my duties to you.
Thank you, my dear. I leave everything in your capable hands. Mwah! Mwah, indeed. I... I'm sorry. Did I misunderstand her or something? Oh, how embarrassing. I didn't mean to start trying to force work onto you when you've only just enrolled. <sighs> There's no way I can turn her down. No, no. Instructor Sarah is absolutely right. Your plate is as full as I've seen, so if I can help you in any way, please let me. Phew! I thought there had been a terrible misunderstanding there for a moment. <laughs> but don't worry, I won't give you anything too difficult. It'll mostly just be fulfilling requests from people in the Academy and in Trista. Requests? Yep. Sometimes people send in feedback and list things they'd like us to do for them. And we try to help out however we can. I'll pick some up for you to do by the end of the day and drop the list in your mailbox at your dorm tomorrow morning. Will that be okay with you? Sure thing. Thanks. Dusk already? <sighs> what a day. I can't believe she wound up treating me to dinner in the cafeteria. And she's still got more student council work to do yet. How is she so busy? Um, hello? This is Reen Schwarzer speaking. Good dog, my favorite little wunderkind. I hear you had a nice little dinner date with the student council president. Ooh la la. If this is how you treat your favorite little wunderkind, I dread to think how you treat people you don't like. Would you care to explain why you've been signing me up for things behind my back? I'll skip the details for now, but it's got something to do with the other part of your curriculum that I'll be announcing next week. I thought it'd be a good chance for one of you to do a little rehearsal before the main event. And since the student council truly is busy, I figured, why not kill two birds with one stone? A fine plan, if I do say so myself. I have a feeling half the reason they're as busy as they are is because of certain instructors. But all right, I'm happy to play along. Basically, you just want me to spend my free day tomorrow helping the student council, right? Oh, that's entirely up to you. If there's a club you're interested in joining, far be it from me to force you away from it. No, to be honest, I still haven't found one that really clicks with me, so that won't be a problem. There is one question I'd like to ask, though. Why me, exactly? <sighs> this seems like the kind of task typically entrusted to the class president or vice president. So, Emma, or Machias. And even if you were choosing based on social class, Eusis and Laura were both born into noble families. I wasn't. So what makes me so special, exactly? <laughs> well, in a sense, you're effectively at the center of Class 7. Pardon? I'm not saying you're its leader, of course. But in a class full of nobles, commoners, and exchange students, you in particular are... special. Surely even you can see that, no? Well... That's why I decided to give you first dibs, so to speak. I wanted to get an idea of how things might go from here on out. There's never been a class like yours before, after all. So there you have it. The beans have been spilled all over the place. Ball's in your court now. <laughs> Wait, what are you drinking? Beer, of course. It's the weekend, and I'm stuck wasting away in my room, imbibing libations, alas, all by my lonesome. If only I had a classy gentleman friend who'd go out drinking with me. But woe of woes, such a man is nary to be found. Um, are you okay? Never better. But you, instead of trying to put everything in its place, why don't you just... Go with the flow for a change. 
It seems like you're desperately trying to find something. But if you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just going to blow away with the next big gust that comes along. <laughs> and on that note, make sure you're back in the dorm by curfew and all transgressions will be forgiven. Toodles! If I don't plant myself somewhere, huh? She may have a few screws loose, but she's got a point. Maybe I should just try going with the flow and see what comes of it.